When you think of astronomy, you probably think of stars, black holes, the moon landing, and maybe even aliens. But astronomy is also a very effective tool for measuring things happening here on Earth, because after all, we're in space too. But right now, Earth is facing a massive challenge, climate change. Astronomy helps us see Earth in context. Climate change happens on other planets too. Planets with greenhouse atmosphere are all susceptible to certain levels of natural climate change. Venus, for example, has a greenhouse atmosphere, but it's far more extreme than ours. But it wasn't always like this. Astronomers theorize that Venus likely once had liquid water. As the planet warmed due to its greenhouse gases and its proximity to the sun, the water evaporated. Unfortunately for Venus, water vapor is also a greenhouse gas, which then trapped more heat and eventually triggered a runaway greenhouse effect and created the 900 degree barren wasteland that we know Venus to be today. Luckily for us, Earth won't see that kind of extreme, at least not for a couple billion years. But our climate is changing, and fast, and the difference is, it's driven by us. So much of human activity releases greenhouse gases, which warms our planet in very clear and measurable ways. And if you're thinking, well, I'll just wait until we can colonize Mars or another planet, astronomy teaches us that to colonize a planet like Mars, it would take several hundred years in an extremely optimistic scenario. And quite frankly, as cool as colonizing Mars would be, it comes with a massive host of risks, and we need to be focusing our energy here on Earth. Astronomers know that there is no real planet B, but there's still hope to protect this one. Understanding the science is the first step in finding real solutions right here on Earth.